one of the most common questions asked is how many mini splits, what size mini splits do I need in a bus? Well, this is a full size bus, it's 37 feet. And the answer is two mini splits. I recommend having a 12K up front like this, since this is where the most of the windows are, the common area. And in the rear, you wanna have a 9K. That makes it very efficient. And generally that's when you're sleeping. You've got this small area back here that's basically for sleeping. You can cool this much easier by having a curtain or something closing off the front, make it a little bit more efficient, save some power. Now in this case, we're in Florida, it's like 82 degrees out, but this bus is parked in a place where it's actually barely has direct sunlight. It's pretty ideal. So 74 degrees, the remote here showing 75. So back here, it's nice, cool enough, crispy, dry enough. And you can feel the heat difference as we get towards the front of the bus, right? And this is a pretty well insulated bus. Yeah, most of the factory windows are here. Um, but this front mini split's not working. So I'm troubleshooting that, working on it. It lost its Freon because of improper torquing, I believe, of the copper. But it's 87 degrees up here. So we're talking a 10 degree or more difference. And this is while parked in the shade. Yes, a fan back here, pulling air forward would help, but there's no way you're cooling this bus in actual hot weather. And, and we're talking 80, 82 degrees right now. It's not even that significant, and yet we're at 87. So keep in mind, you gotta have two. Um, yeah, you can follow the weather, but you can see how even in 75 degree weather, perfect weather, it, it can still be quite toasty in a bus like this. Uh, then there's the, the whole world of powering these systems, which is more or less what I do. And uh, I've got a whole solar system in here. I might do a video on that one later. But So there's your answer. 12K up front, living area, 9K, and the sleeping area in the rear. That's a perfect solution. And with the right solar system, you can run that sustainably without needing to plug in or have a generator.